My father used to say that uh, Bethune was the most exciting man that he'd ever met. And he met many celebrities in his lifetime. And, uh, I think in many, many ways my father was the most exciting person that I, that I met. And the most exciting part of my father's life was probably the six, seven months he spent in Spain during the Civil War. I've written about that, I've uh, written a biography of my father, Ted, Ted Allen, and uh, the first chapter is about Spain. And in Spain, it's, it's, it's complex, it's a, it was a complex story. It, there's a lot of pages, a lot of information. Uh, he was planning to go over as a journalist at the age of 20, 2021, for left-wing journal that he was working for. He was a, a reporter. And uh, that misfired, and he ended up enlisting in the International Brigade. And when they were being, what's the word, when, during the intake, and being assigned to, to TASA, and mostly people were ending up in industry, in industry, in infantry. Uh, those who could, uh, who could ride, drive trucks were in transport. Those who could drive motorbikes were in communication. And those who didn't have those talents were in the trenches. So Carrigan, the, the colonel who was intaking people, this is an Albacete, in a, in a bull ring. And in, asking each each inductee one by one what they had been doing. My father said he was a reporter. So he was transferred out of, Kerrigan transferred him out of the trenches, my father thinks because they lost several writers that week. That there was a high toll in a loss of writers and poets in the, in the, in the brigade. So my father was transferred up to, to Madrid to broadcast on behalf of the brigade to, to the U.S. and Canada, to North America. And it was, he was four days in Albacete after that, and, and during that time, I think a man called George Marion, reporter for the Daily Worker in London, came through and was speaking about Bethune, the Bethune's unit, that morale was, was very compromised there, that, that there was chaos uh, at the brigade. At, at the unit, and the brigade, Kerrigan sent Ted up, uh, knew he was from Montreal, and in fact Ted had been, for 18 months, two years, had been a close associate of Bethune. Ted s several times often said that Bethune was like a surrogate father to him, and he believes he was like a surrogate son to Bethune. So the brigade sent Ted to investigate the unit. And when Ted arrived at the unit in Madrid, he confessed to Bethune that he had this assignment, this remit from, from the brigade. And Bethune, who had welcomed him, embraced him, and welcomed him with, with open arms, said, well, that's great. I'm going to make you political commissar, political officer for the unit, because somebody should find out what's going on. Bethune believed that the unit was being sabotaged by the two Spanish doctors, and was handling that in an extravagant manner. He was raving and raging, and he'd get drunk, and he'd take one of the ambulances and drive off for a couple, for several days, and he'd throw chairs and ashtrays around the room. And eventually, my father was instrumental in having Bethune sent back to Canada. He didn't feel that Bethune was coping, could cope with the situation, which uh, soured their relationship. And then many, many years later, not that many years ago, a short while before my father died in 95, 1995, he got a call from the Spanish consul that they'd just opened files and they discovered that uh, 
the two doctors in the blood transfusion unit were saboteurs, were saboteurs, indeed saboteurs, were acting on, on behalf of the Falange and, and the, the nationalists. Chapter one in my biography of Ted, www.normanallen.com. They also had, uh, in Madrid, had several encounters with Hemingway. Again, you'll, you'll read about them. And that, that's the, the largest, the written largest, the, the loudest part of my father's life would be that, those experiences and those encounters with Hemingway. Hemingway, in many ways, was jealous of my father. Uh, Hmm. Where to travel with this? Where to travel with the Hemingway stories? I'm going to send you to to uh, the biography, to my biography of Ted, for the Hemingway stories, and and his nascent love affair with Gerda Taro, the photographer, Kappa's Kappa's girl. Kappa went back to. To Paris and left Goethe in Ted's keeping. Look after her, he said. He was very clever, said said Goethe. He knew that I had an eye for you. Um, and Goethe's tragic death, which was pivotal, pivotal moment in my father's life. So my father believed. That, that with her death, he closed, he closed his heart. And then, 20 years later, in 58, when he met Lucille Little, red-headed like Tara, like Gerda Taro, and wearing the same perfume. What, what is that perfume? Well, it's a mixture of two perfumes. When he met her, he said, he, jumped up like a dog, and ran over like sniffing her, and uh, the beginning of a torrid love affair. <laughs>